Today you're going to learn about the area of a parallelogram, which is 11.6 in the textbook. Right, so first of all, let's just define what a parallelogram is. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, so it's a four-sided shape with two sets of parallel lines and where the opposite angles are equal. So we've got a set of parallel lines, parallel lines, and the opposite angles are equal opposite angles. Alright, so the formula for working out the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So we multiply the base by the height. Um, now, um, in this as well we need to remember, just like we do with triangles, uh, the height is perpendicular to the base. So it's not a side length, it's actually a height at 90 degrees to the base. So that's something important to remember. That's why we could say base times height and not length times width. Alright, so just go over that again. So when we're defining base and height, um, it is perpendicular, so 90 degrees to the base. Now sometimes that means that you might need to draw the lines outside of the shape, um, like we do with a triangle. So if you see that it's because it needs to be perpendicular to the base. Alright, now we just need to do some examples for these parallelograms to find the area. Okay, so remembering to write area of a parallelogram equals base times height. Pretty easy. So we multiply, so the base is 5 metres and the height is 7. 7 fives are 35 and remember the answer must be in square metres or square units. In this case it's metres. Alright, the next one. Area of a parallelogram equals base times height base is 3 kilometers times 12 3 twelves the 36 kilometers squared all right um it's your turn now as been doing recently. I'm not going to give you a really basic one. I want to give you one to stretch your brain a little bit. See if you can um, use that to work out the answer. Use what you know about parallelograms now to work out the answer to this problem. So you need to find the height of the parallelogram when there's an area of 28 square meters and a base of 4 meters. So we don't have base and height we only have base and area, so we need to find the height. So height needs to equal the area over divided by the base. Okay, so we've got the area is this part, and this is 28 square meters. So all of that is the area. And then we know the base is 4 meters. We just don't know what the height is. We're a bit. We need to work that out. Okay, so we know the area is twenty-eight square meters, and we need to divide that by four meters. Divide that by the base because when you work out the um, area, you times the base by the height. So to work out the height, if you've got the area, you need to divide the area by the base. Okay, and 28 divided by 4 is 7. So the answer is 7 meters. Now because this is just the height measurement, we're not saying meters squared because only area is written in meters squared. So height would equal 7 meters. Alright, now I'm not even going to give you the answer to this one. I want you to bring your answer to class for this question, see if you can figure out why 
this parallelogram's area will be less, so this is the parallelogram, and this area will be less than the rectangle's area, even though these side lengths are the same. So you need to explain to me why the parallelogram's area is less than the rectangle, even though the side lengths are the same. Okay, a bit of a challenge for you. I look forward to hearing your answers when you come to class.